All right, we're going to watch Jillian's backstroke underwater. Now, as we see real quick, see those fingers are a little wide, okay? That's okay. We like how that's actually grabbing a little bit more water that way. Um, it's one thing we've been working on a lot this year, and so that's a good thing. We like to see that. But you can see, you kind of drop that elbow a little bit, and you can see how wide that hand is pulling. You got a little bit of a shoulder roll there, but if you can grow a little bit deeper, that pull is going to be a little bit stronger, I think. Okay, so let's make sure we get a little bit better shoulder roll out there. Head position, though, again, I'm going to keep telling you about your head position, Jillian, because your head position is so good. You guys see your hands are a little bit bent with those fingers. Try to keep those arms, hands a little bit straighter. Great body position there as far as your elbow goes. Good, strong pull. A little shallow, and that gets fixed if we just go a little bit deeper on the body position. Okay, roll when your right hand is up, your right shoulder is up. When your right hand is in, your left shoulder is up. Okay, so make sure we keep working on getting a little bit stronger um, body position out there with the roll. Okay. Go back there real quick, and I want you to look at your leg. Look at that left leg. You can see. Look how bent that left leg is. Okay, you've got that bent more than a 45 degree angle. So let's really work on that kick. You don't want to make those legs quite so bent. You want those legs a little bit straighter all the way through that kick. A little bit more kicking from your upper part of your leg, not so much kicking from that lower part of your leg. Those knees don't need to be bending that much. Your pull on your right side looks so good. You can see you want to, you want to roll. I mean, it's like right here, you've got that roll started. If you can just roll a little bit more to that left, Jillian, I mean, it's going to be absolutely perfect. It's going to be right where we want it to be. But you can see right here how close that, hand, that thumb is, how close that hand is to that surface. Roll, roll, roll. Good job of finishing that back stroke all the way down by your hip. You can see right here you've got your upper body above that water. And you kind of see how your hips are a little bit low. And really, the biggest part of the reason why your hips are low is because you are bending those legs so much. If you can keep those legs, specifically your left, because your right leg is in a much better position. If you keep those legs a little bit higher in that water, okay, a little bit more straight, your body position is going to be a lot better and you're going to be a lot more on top of that water. You know, earlier in the year, I think you were over putting that head back. Right now, you've got your head right in the right position, so we really like that. Again, you can see right here, fingertips above that water, all right? That's why I keep talking about the rolling. We'll make sure we get it. You do a good job of pointing those toes all the way through. All right, so we talked about this above the water. I want to see it above, below the water, too. Kind of see how wide that hand is on that first pull into that stroke. Make sure it's more of a freestyle pull right underneath your body because that's where you get that power from, all right? And get to your hips. Start that flip really, really good. Hand position is perfect as far as where you're going. You're going towards your face. Your legs are going here. The only thing I'd like to see you do is take the palms instead of right here where you have them palms up. Take those palms so it's more bringing towards your face. Eyes, head position, very good there. Jillian, the turn itself looks perfect. I mean, I really like that position. Good job of getting your hands in that streamline. I mean, this right here is textbook, okay? Good job of streamlining, good. I mean, you can tell your elbows are perfectly locked. Your head is in the right position. That's so good. Still just a little too long, okay? Not until you get that first kick. Make sure you get those kicks a little bit quicker. Really, you should probably start your kicks more right about in this area here, which is about three feet off the wall. You're probably about eight to 10 feet off the wall at that point. So let's make sure we get those dolphin kicks a little bit earlier. But once you start kicking, Jillian, you got such a good kick. You're not moving your upper body at all. You're doing a lot of good kicking from your hips all the way down. That looks great. Now right here, you can ready to break the surface. This is where we want to see flutter kick going on and then starting to use those lay or starting to use those arms. You should be dropping this arm here because that's the bottom of your hand. We see that arm start to drop right now. But as you can kind of see, you're still kicking. 
and now you're breaking the surface. So this hand, which was on the bottom, this hand, which was on the bottom, is doing the is doing the pull second. Your hand that was on the top is doing the pull first. Make sure you get that bottom hand, okay? So it's the hand that's it's the hand that's really on the bottom part of your streamline. Make sure you get that arm first, okay? Now you can see your head's breaking the surface. Your hands are still streamlined up there. At this point, you should have already been into your second or third stroke, and you're just finishing or just starting your first stroke out of the water. So let's work on the breakout. Out of all this stuff that I'm watching, kicking, breakout. Those are the two biggest things. The rolling, I know you're going to get better at. Your dolphin kicking is amazing, so if you just keep working on doing that earlier, you're perfect, Jillian. So, so good. Thank you so much.